usually I have like a sheet here in front of me off camera with bullet points and ideas to talk about in this video but today I have nothing and that's because I wanted to take a break in this video from my usual like makeup -y videos or my usual like Sailor Moon analysis whatever else I do on my channel anymore and I wanted to talk about my cat Lena. Every time I ever even have her in the background of one of my videos because she's just here um, or she, I post a picture of her on Instagram or I read a little blurb about something funny she did on Tumblr. Everyone always seems very interested in my adorable goofy little cat Lena. Uh, so I decided that I would take this week's Friday video and kind of talk about my experience adopting her and this way I figured if you wanted to tell me about your pet because I definitely want to hear about your pet you could do that in the comments below. We could basically just have a big a pet day. A big pet day. So here's what's up. Here's the story of how I adopted Lena. So it was only about a year and a half-ish to two years ago that I started adulting. And I mean that in the sense of like going out into the world by myself. And the reason that it, I only did that then obviously is because I am in a wheelchair so it was always just easier if I was like mom on your way home will you buy me new shampoo that sort of thing. And then when I grad when I was still in college and I was moving towards graduation and I got my internship and that sort of thing and I was a little more independent around where we live anyway I uh, started to like do things and now I'm like fully responsible for myself even though I do still live at home. But anyway so I ventured out into the world one day. And I went to this great big shopper's drug mart that we have near us because I wanted to buy makeup. What else is new? This story begins with makeup as most of mine do. In the shoppers and I was shopping and I looked across the street and the Humane Society was there. And I was like, ugh. I didn't know that the Humane Society was right there. I knew it was like near us, but I had never been there before. So I was like, it's right there. I'm just gonna... I'm just going to casually go and just casually look at the animals that they have for adoption at the Humane Society. That is a bad idea. Bad idea. Never ever go to the Humane Society unless you're planning on adopting something. Because you're going to fall in love with an animal and then you're going to bring it home. And you're not going to be ready for this animal that you fall in love with and you're going to bring home. Similar to what happened with me. Anyway, I go into the Humane Society. There is two different cat adoption rooms. So I went into the first one and I looked down and there was this cat and she immediately like caught my attention on some kind of subconscious level. I just looked at her and I was like, <sighs> stars in my eyes. This tiny little cat sitting front and center in her cage, like falling asleep. <laughs> and I just thought it was so adorable. So I picked up her little sheet and I looked at it for a little bit and her name was Lena. And I thought that was a very, very cute name. And I looked and like she had no adoptions pending or anything. They, they, they had only picked her up at the Humane Society like the day before. They said she was a stray. Uh, all this stuff. So I was like, oh, that's so cute. Like, I like her a lot. And I just like put the paper back and then wandered around the rest of the room. And kept kind of looking back over at Lena, you know. And uh, I ended up going in, in, into the second cat adoption room. And I looked around at all the cats. Wandered back into the first one. Kind of like stalked Elena in a not creepy way. <laughs> totally not creepy. And when the lady who worked there came in, she was like, see anyone that you like? And I was like, I think Lena is very, very cute. And then before I even registered what was going on, she took Lena out of her cage and like gave her to me. She just kind of put her on my body. And uh, she was like, do you want to come into one of the like cat socializing rooms? And I was like, yeah, okay. Here I am holding this cat, like <laughs> one of those awkward people who doesn't know what they're doing. That's me. And so I go in, I go into this room and I'm still holding Lena and she looks up at me with these sleepy, sleepy eyes. And she just nestles right in. And she sleeps. And it was the cutest thing I've ever experienced in my life. And when the lady came back in to check on us, about 40 minutes later, we were still sitting there and I was still holding her and I was like, this is my cat. I just knew this is my cat. She chose me and I chose her. This is the cat that belongs with me. I am her mom already. Which is funny because Lena tricked me that day because she is not really a cuddly cat. She hates to be picked up. She's definitely not going to fall asleep in your arm. She knew that this is what it takes to get adopted and she played the part and that almost makes me love her like a little bit more than it would have otherwise. But still, that cat that I met that day is not the same as the cat that I have now. But now I had a problem and that problem is, is that I do live at home so really I can't just come home with an animal and be like, look, I ain't down an animal uh, because it's not my house. But Lena was so cute and so small 
that I knew if I put her back in the cage for like even half a second, some other family was going to come in and fall in love with her immediately, and they're going to have all these young kids, and they're going to adopt her. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, if I don't take her now, I'm not going to get her. And then the woman who worked there informed me that they, because they had just picked Lena up the day before, she hadn't even been spayed yet, and that's part of the adoption fee is she gets spayed and she gets her first round of shots. So I wouldn't be able to take her home for about a week anyway if I signed the papers and paid the fee now. Done. Signed the papers, paid the fee, left the Humane Society, went, I adopted a cat. <laughs> what have I done? This is my favorite part of the story. I tell everyone this part of the story. I get home and I go, Sue, Mummy, can I have a cat? And she goes, what? Where is this coming from? You can't have a cat. And so we carried on for a couple of hours with, Mummy, can I have a cat now? And her saying, no, you can't have a cat. And then eventually, eventually I broke her down because you see, my mother does love animals and she loves me. So eventually I broke her down to a solid, realistically, Abby, you're 20 years old. You want to talk to cat? I can't stop you. To which I replied, great, because I already signed and paid for her. She should be coming home within the next week. Now the sad part about the story is that Lena then contracted an upper respiratory infection at the Humane Society. They had like a break, a breakout and it's very contagious amongst cats. So all the cats there had it. And uh, I wasn't able to take her home for like a solid month and a half to two months after. I think I adopted her like September 4th, I think. That's what it says on my receipt. And I uh, couldn't bring her home till around Halloween. So it was a long time. I was so sad. And I would go visit her all the time, but I couldn't actually go see her because she was in the quarantine room so she didn't infect any other cats. And it was like... I was the cat then scratching at the door like, I just want my baby. But then as soon as she was okay enough that they could, you know, stay her, uh, I got to take her home. And I remember that very first day that I brought her home, she was sitting on my bed just like looking at me and I was on my computer and I kept turning over and she was there looking at me and I just remember thinking, oh my god, what have I done? I've become a parent. I adopted a child, now I have to take care of it. <laughs> but realistically, owning a cat is not that stressful. There are a lot of other animals that are a lot more high maintenance, but for, for the most part, Lady needs food and water the occasional treats, her litter to be cleaned, and lots and lots of snuggles. And I brush her occasionally, but she doesn't like that, so I try not to do it too often. And that first night, she uh, she slept right here with her little tiny body. Her body, at that point, could not have been longer than my shoulder here. Mm, not much longer. She was very small. And she had the, the cone of shame on because she had just been fixed, right? So she had her big cone of shame, like, stuck here under my chin. And it was, like, probably the most uncomfortable sleep of my whole life. But it was adorable. So it was worth every second. And that's my kitty. I've had her for a year and a half now. She's, she's feisty. That's the word I would use to describe her. My mom says she's a lot like me because she can be adorable and be affectionate when she wants to. But if you try to be affectionate with her when she doesn't want to be affectionate, she will kill you. Now, if you look at Lena, you can read her. She's very, she's very readable. Like, she gets crazy eyes and ears down when she's angry. And you, if you just look at her, you know that she's about to attack you. If I don't pay attention to her when she wants me to pay attention to her, there will be hell to pay. She will knock everything over. You know that, that, that scene in Sabrina the Teenage Witch? When Salem's like, pay attention to me! And he knocks the vase off the, off the counter. That's Lena. That's Lena to a T. My mom was making, like, Christmas or Thanksgiving dinner one day, and when my mom wasn't looking, Lena climbed up on the counter and took the turkey neck and ran away with it. The really special thing about Lena being my, my cat to me is that I adopted her that day, and I just held her. Like, I didn't know anything really about her personality at that point, technically. I just knew that she was my cat, and she was adorable. Uh, but we've had a lot of cats come and go in my house. I would say probably probably seven or so in my lifetime. Lots of cats. Uh, Lena is the very first cat that we have ever had in this house to A, never have been scared of my chair. Even, like, never. Not even when I visited her at the Humane Society. Like, she was chill for me to carry her and drive. Uh, one of the other times I visited her and we were in the socialization room, she was, like, running all around it, like, while I was trying to drive. Never even moderately scared of my chair. To the extent that she, B, climbs my chair. And that is the cutest thing ever. If you were to look at my headrest here, if I was to zoom in and, uh, like, give you like a beautiful close-up it's basically torn to shreds but it's because she sits up here and she claws it and underneath my seat there's like a big shelf area and she climbs up there too like she is not afraid to monkey bar all over my chair and I just think that's so cute because she's my cat and that's just something she does people ask me a lot about her collar put the collar on her while she still had the cone of shame on so uh she never really 
like she never bugged to get it off she never bugged to take it off or whatever because it was like she never got to be here without it you know i love that she has the bell the bell is necessary when she moves as quietly as she does because there has been more than once that i would have probably almost completely run over her if i didn't hear the little bell go past my wheels that's everything for this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and like i said at the beginning you tell me about your pet because i love to hear people talk about their pets people are so cute when they talk about their pets because they just love them so much and then they gush for like ever and they forget to breathe if you have any ideas or requests for future videos for me, whether they be life or makeup or Sailor Moon, whatever, please let me know because I would love to make that for you. Again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!